So it is recognizing this holiness that feels in, that's of my upbringing, but also feels instinctual when you talk about something that, um, you know, I'm, I'm interested in that language that lifts us into the surreal, right. um, you know, because we are surreal beings, you know, we're real and we're also surreal and, you know, we, 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 we dream, which is like mm -hmm. the most surreal thing in the world, right? And like any creature that has the ability to fabricate all these worlds within our minds unconsciously, I think is like worthy of bringing that same type of fabric making that we have in dreams into our real world and into our writing. Um, and also I think like, you know, I think we show through dealing with the surreal or through dealing with the imaginative, we also show the real life possibilities of things. Mm -hmm. um, you know, um, so like if I want to show you that we live in this flawed world, I want to make it flawed in a way that's so fantastic that it sort of like reaches past your understanding of the flawed world and lets you come back to like, oh, but even if he's saying that, you know, he's, all, or they're also saying, you can see the real worldness of right. it, you know, in that. Um, but also to point us towards better realities too, you know, um, Ross Gay said on this panel one time that if we want to have a world without prisons, then we have to then we have to write about worlds in our prison so that way people know that's possible, right? Um, and I think for me that's been ringing true a lot lately. And so I've been trying to use myth and magic to sort of lift us into safety and to lift us into freedom and to lift us into newer possibilities as well. Mm.